So you've bought a microscope and whether that microscope costs $800 or $3,800, uh, there is a certain amount of assembly required. The Luxo unit, we're actually very fortunate, Luxo bases pretty much come with very, very minimal assembly. Um, I will review when I assemble this base some of the components that on a lesser model of microscope may come disconnected from the unit just so you can be familiar with all the parts and components. This right here is the horizontal bar. Um, Luxo does this great thing where all of their boom stands have these integrated drop tilt arbors. What's a drop tilt arbor and what is it for? Okay, so if you think about a traditional microscope and it would literally, the end of it would just literally look like this, you'd have an E-arm which connects into that microscope. It's just looking straight down. Well, that's the only way it can look, just absolutely straight down at the product. If you have a drop tilt arbor, you can look at an angle, lock it, lock it that way, lock it, look at the product that way, so you can look at a slightly offset uh, position. Uh, on a regular microscope, if you got one that didn't have this, they're a couple hundred dollars extra actually, so um, it's great that, uh, that Luxo actually includes it with their, uh, their standard boom stand. Okay, so a quick tip on how to assemble the vertical post onto the base plate. So what you're going to do is put about two thirds of the base plate on your workbench so it doesn't fall on your toe, which would really hurt. I have removed the cross block and the locking collar from the vertical post. And now what you can simply do is rather than try to uh, manipulate the base stand, you can just position your screws in and the only thing that you're then manipulating is this vertical post, which is a hell of a lot easier to do than to try to manipulate this, this very hairy base. So let's just take me a few minutes. Vertical post is on. Time to put on your locking collar. Just put that anywhere for right now. And then your cross block, which um, I will unashamedly say this is the second take of me putting this on because I put it on upside down before. This little screw here goes on the bottom and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so the importance of this uh, collar cannot be expressed enough. Uh, in setting up your microscope, you're going to need to do some vertical adjustment. If you don't attach this, or if you just leave it down here, and you go to make an adjustment and your operator is not aware of the weight of this horizontal bar, and obviously the microscope on it, as soon as they loosen this off, it's going to come crashing down. So your locking collar should always be very close to your, your cross block here. Why does that little silver nut need to go on the bottom? There's a little groove right here. You are going to push this in like so, and then that little threaded screw, there we go, goes nicely into that groove, and it just keeps everything nice and vertical and in place. Now you may notice that this uh, Horizontal bar has this slight kind of shake and shimmy as you go back and forth. Um, Luxo, as well as other companies, do have uh, these dual arm boom stands. This is a single arm boom stand. Luxo has a beautiful dual arm boom stand. And inside that, there are actually ball bearings. And those ball bearings make it so you have a beautifully uh, fluid motion back and forth as you need to adjust the scope. Um, Luxo would call this kind of their entry level boom stand arm. To be very honest, in most manufacturing operations, once you've got your microscope set up, so once you've got your position this way and that way, there's going to be very minimal adjustment. But if you do feel you are going to be making more adjustments, your board size changes or anything else like that, definitely consider the dual arm boom stand. Okay, so we have assembled the boom stand. We've now got to attach our E-arm, which is actually the component that holds the microscope. You are going to unscrew this little piece right here, take that guy off, slide this on. I cannot tell you how many places I've actually been where they have uh, put the E-arm in upside down. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter, but I don't know, call me a traditionalist. Call me a traditionalist. We're going to put it in the proper way. So we're going to get this in here. We're going to put this in. Now, now why is this washer important to install? Uh, you may not be able to tell by the, 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 the camera shot right here, but this little ring here is slightly larger than the opening on the E-arm. So 
if you were to accidentally adjust your microscope and let go, it doesn't fall to the floor. Microscopes don't like falling to the floor. So here it is, our uh, Luxo head. Uh, comes all nicely sealed up. It doesn't work as well if you don't unscrew these. It does not have eyepieces installed. We will get to those in one second. So we're gonna unscrew right here. There we go. Everything all tight and good. So you can adjust your, and this is that tilting arm we were talking about here. So angling that down as needed. We're just gonna level it off for right now. This little guy here uh, acts both as a protective shield because I could literally just take my finger and stick my finger and the optical lenses here, which is not a good thing. And I will just loosen this up so I can show you. Okay, so everything's staying. I promise not to drop your microscope, Luxo. Okay. So this acts both as a protective cover for those little optics right there, and it also has a groove right in here. This groove is to hold your light source. So your light source is actually gonna to attach to this directly, and I'll show how that works in a moment. But now your optical path is nicely protected and covered and all is good. Eyepieces are in these little tubes right here. Unpackage them, just drop them in. Doesn't really matter how they go. We're just gonna drop them in for right now. And then we will go over attaching the light source. Uh, the model we have here came with a fluorescent ring light. And just as I discussed with this uh, uh, ring light adapter that came with it, we're going to attach these three screws into the groove right there, and we're in business.